These stories will have you questioning if life exists outside our universe. And if so, have aliens made contact with us? This is a spacecraft. But is it? A man in North Carolina caught this in 2018. It's a big silver aircraft hovering over a lake. The man who captured the image says he was convinced he was looking at a UFO. There was nothing like that I'd ever seen before. The video went viral, with many others hoping he was right. However, it turned out not to be an alien aircraft. It was just the Goodyear blimp. The company even confirmed it on social media, writing, We don't want to get in the way of a good story, but that's definitely us. Sorry, space fans, not this time. Check this out. In 2016, these airport employees in Miami had no idea what they were looking at when a blue orb appeared in the sky. The ground crew posted videos of the phenomenon on social media, which drew comments like, they are coming, and welcome to the world of aliens. But the truth was the opposite of an alien invasion. Three, two, one, liftoff. It turned out to be a rocket launched into space from Cape Canaveral, and it happened just before the sun came up, which is what experts say caused the beautiful blue orb. That's what we're seeing is the expanding gases from coming out from the rocket lit up by sunrise. Others also seem to think blue light signals an alien encounter. Second Thessalonians 10 to 11. And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. And for this cause God shall send them Strong delusion that they should believe a lie. Wake up! You are now watching The Conservative Racer. Remember, the race is not over until Christ returns. Unidentified flying objects. This has been building up for years. I want to... I want to yell right now. I want to tell people exactly how foolish I think they've been, but I'm biting my tongue. To begin, I could go back 124 years, April 17th, 1897, uh, when a farmer in Dallas uh, had reported a UFO crash landing on his farm. Uh, but I'm not going to go back that far. Let's go back. 83 years, let's go back to October 30th, 1938, when Orson Welles broadcasted War of the Worlds live on radios across the country, terrifying Americans into believing that we were under assault by little Martians. I mean, people fleed their homes in fear, gripped in terror, running for cover crying to police, looking for the army, wondering who was going to save them, all from a hoax radio broadcast, War of the Worlds. And in my estimation, that's about the time that the large-scale psychological operations began. Psychological operations, a.k.a. PSYOPs. Let's break this down slowly and rationally for a moment. Uh, UFO, or as I like to call them, objects that fly unidentified. Picture for a moment, if I fill a hot air balloon up and I let it fly up into the air and you see it. You see it's a balloon. It's flying up into the sky. So it's what? It's an identified flying object you know what it is you see it what if i shot a hobby rocket up into the sky model rocket you see it flying up in the sky you identify it as a rocket so i have yet another identified let's say flying object well what if at night i take a drone i build a drone and i make it glow pink or baby blue or some type of 
luminous color like that. And I fly it around the neighborhood super fast, super high, and nobody quite knows what it is. But they see what we're being told today is essentially a unidentified flying object. You don't know what it is. You can't make it out, but it's it's bright. It's it's got colors. You've never seen anything like it before, and you really don't know what it is. It would be reported as a UFO, an unidentified flying object. I think it was Harris Faulkner on Fox News the other day um, gave the best take on this UFO talk that I've heard maybe ever. And she said, let's, you know, let's slow this down a little bit and focus on the unidentified part. Not that we can identify something in the air means that it's little aliens flying super sophisticated spacecraft coming to invade or befriend us. Uh, not her exact words, but that was the gist of it. And I had to applaud that because I said to myself, this is the first time that I've actually heard anybody on the news actually say, hey, UFO, I mean, we don't know what it is. That doesn't mean that it's some alien spacecraft coming to visit us from Mars. And I mean, they've been grooming humanity for over a decade or so on extraterrestrials and the possibility of life somewhere else and visits to our planet uh, giving us everything from Marvin the Martian on cartoons all the way to Star Wars and Star Trek and I, I mean I really don't know what to say people really need to wake up because this is I feel like we're in Looney Tunes I feel like we're in Looney Tunes with this, right up with Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck, and Roadrunner and the rest of them. For everybody out there that's believing in this lie, and the great deception is real. And I mean, for, for my Christian brothers and sisters out there uh, in the kingdom of God, where is one verse in the Bible that, where is, find me a space between any two verses in the Bible that leaves room for the possibility of aliens and extraterrestrials coming from faraway universes. Show me anything in the Bible that would lead you to believe that God has left the possibility for that. Uh, I'm gonna wrap this video up early. Uh, this was my, I can't wait to complete my full deep dive project video uh, sample call it a just a little sample but I'm working on a uh, on a project that's going to be in-depth deep dive and it's going to start from it's going to start from the Bible it's going to start from Genesis and I'm going to get into some things that I've been wanting to talk about for a long time uh, but uh, I just couldn't wait to get uh, a little video out as every time I turn the TV on I'm seeing uh, I'm seeing psyops about UFOs, uh, information coming from uh, pilots, coming from people, the Pentagon. It's coming from everywhere right now. Uh, I think the uh, scientists from uh, Israel first broke this out and sparked it back up right around the uh, turn of the... Uh, of the new year and I had been asking myself I wonder how long it's going to be with this pandemic going on before they start pumping up their talk about UFO sightings and extraterrestrials again you know they gave it a little break during the pandemic but I knew it was going to come back soon enough and they've really turned it up right now <laughs> So let me let me close with this. Uh, the why. why? Why are they doing this? Uh, and it's very simple why they're doing it. Because if if there's aliens, if there's extraterrestrials and this advanced spacecraft, uh, then there's an 
extraterrestrial civilization. And if there is an alien civilization, then there must be faraway planets with life. And if all this is true, then it's going to bring into question everything that God says. And if, if we question God's word, eventually we'll probably question his actual existence. And that's what this is all about. I can explain to you how every unrighteous thing in this world today has an end result of bringing us further away from God. And this alien agenda actually does two things. Uh, one, as I've said, to uh, help bring us away from God. And then two, to help prepare us for the possible one day contact that we may have. And when I say contact, I'm not talking about from extraterrestrials. Uh, I mean, if right now one of the enemy's minions were to approach somebody, they would be most likely due to all the psychological operations you've received over your lifetime. They would be indistinguishable to you from what you perceive as an extraterrestrial. And you wouldn't even realize that it's the enemy sending one of his minions right in front of you at that moment. And you think that you've just been contacted by an alien. And as the Israeli scientist uh, pointed out that he claims that the United States has been hiding this from us and have had contact all along. They're prepping us for some eventual contact. Uh, the great deception's real. And at some point, we're going to come in contact with the enemy's minions. We're going to be fooled into thinking that they're the aliens. As the uh, scientist says that, that they have knowledge for us, that they want us to receive, but we're not ready. Uh, how old is that scenario? That we're not ready. They have some gift of knowledge and technology that they want to share with us when we're when they feel we're ready and and i translate that as when we're ready as in when we're ready to bow but listen i digress let me wrap this up and uh hopefully you'll join me again when i take a deep dive into this topic and others related to it in my uh next video and let me close uh, as I often do with Ephesians 6.12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. God bless everyone.